Intervent Direct is a growing diversified um, company specialising in airway management, oxygen enrichment, topical application management and critical care monitoring. Um, Intervent Direct is long recognised for its contribution to airway management. We have been in existence for over 20 years. We have 3,000 clinical papers and our product has been used in over 300 million cases worldwide. Within our product portfolio, we have the Ultimate Tea Bag, which is an oxygen enrichment device, and we have the Mad Nasal and the Mad Laryngotracheal device for mucosal topical application. Ventilator associated pneumonia is defined as pneumonia occurring in a previously uninfected patient after the insertion of an endotracheal or tracheostomy tube. It can be early, before 48 hours, or later. Endotracheal tubes are fitted with a balloon or cuff which acts as a seal between the tracheal wall and the cuff. The position of the cuff is important, it's just below the larynx in the trachea. The inflation pressure is critical, if it's too high it will damage the tracheal wall, if it's too low it will not form a seal. Traditionally these tubes were made of plastic and when the cuff is inflated, inevitably it forms a crease uh, when it reaches the tracheal wall. This has long been known and unfortunately the crease acts as a focus for leakage of fluid which is in the, in the pharynx. For an operation when the anaesthetic is relatively short, this is not a problem. In the intensive care unit, it's a different situation because the patient will then be ventilated for days or even weeks. Fluid that collects in the pharynx will inevitably become infected. Nine out of ten, in fact 89% of patients have been shown to have stomach contents in their lungs within 48 hours of uh, initiation of ventilation. Between a quarter and a third of these go on to develop VAP. Put another way, 20% of, of patients who are ventilated for more than 48 hours will develop VAP. Sadly, one in three of these patients cannot be saved. VAP actually doubles the risk of the patient dying during that admission. At best, if the patient survives, the ICU stay is considerably prolonged and we know that the cost increases by at least £12,000. The situation is not easy, the incidence is high, but the diagnostic criteria are not agreed among the profession. However, we, we think that up to 60% of healthcare acquired infections can be traced to the initiation of VAP. So pre prevention of this serious condition is a very important goal for the NHS. Intervent Direct is committed to the provision of clinical programmes and formalised training for the life of its products, ensuring optimum clinical benefit of the device together with its safe, effective and appropriate use. Our newest technology is the new XPY VAT prevention system, formerly known as the Young Low Track system, designed and developed by Dr Peter Young, consultant intensivist at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital King's Lynn to prevent pulmonary aspiration, the leading cause of ventilator-associated pneumonia. The system consists of three component parts, an endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube, an extension tube and a tracheal seal monitor. The new X low track tube prevents microaspiration when used in conjunction with the tracheal seal monitor that maintains a constant intracuff pressure. The mucosal risk of injury is minimised with our system and it is designed such that the um, tracheal wall pressure is kept to a constant 30 centimetres of water. My role as trainer is to educate and familiarise the clinical staff with the use of the new X VAT prevention system to use it effectively and to the maximum benefit for their patients. This form of training generally takes the form of a practical demonstration and theoretical presentation together with the support of bedside guides, manuals, clinical references and data. Having given a definition and an overview of VAP, I would then elaborate on the three main principles of the system. Namely, it prevents microaspiration, 
permits sublotic irrigation and drainage and protects the delicate airway structures. It is widely accepted and recognised that PVC tube cuffs form folds and permit leakage beyond the cuff. No cuff can be effective at maintaining a complete seal in the trachea unless it is continuously inflated and constantly maintained at all times. The key feature of the new X system is in the cuff design which completely prevents leakage beyond the cuff to the lungs when used in conjunction with the tracheal seal monitor. 89% of patients have been shown to aspirate stomach contents which causes pneumonia in a previously unaffected lung. The new X low track system can prevent this from occurring. The new X low track endotracheal and tracheostomy tubes are made of silicon and have a low volume, low pressure cuff. They feature three subglottic ports to remove secretions intermittently from the subglottic space and allow for subglottic irrigation for upper airway cleansing. Tubes with single subglottic drainage ports frequently fail. In fact, an instance of 48% has been recorded. And this failure is associated with an increased incidence of VAP. The tubes have an adjustable flange and securing system with integral bite block which reduces the risk of accidental extubation and any oral or lip injury. The flexible silicon airway tube has a boat tip for atraumatic insertion and the airway tube conforms to the anatomy. It has a medical grade non-stick lining which also inhibits the adhesion of biological material. We strongly believe that we can help healthcare providers at all levels improve patient care in the most challenging of environments with the VENA PYVAP prevention system. We are committed to offering a tailored service to our customers in their fight to combat ventilator-associated pneumonia, the most common nosocomial infection in critically ill patients, one of whom may well be a close relative or loved one.